Hey folks, Jamie here, and today we are checking out the PC and PSVR version of Paper Beast, the game from Pixel Reef, uh, the creator Eric Jahi, most famous for games like Another World, or um, I can't remember what it's called in the US, but it's, it's got a better name in Europe. This is one of our favorite, favorite VR games of the year so far. Came out on PSVR a couple of months ago, now coming to PC VR as of today. Uh, so we thought we'd take a look through the first couple of levels, show you some of the differences and actually the main takeaway I think you're gonna see is just how impressive the PSVR version oh, remains yeah. stacked up next to the PC version so I mean pretty much the entire difference we're gonna be talking about and that you're gonna be looking at as we play through this is that yes it's a little sharper on the PC screen and uh, by bearing in mind I'm also playing on a standard PS4 here not a PS4 Pro but in terms of like texture quality and character models and whatnot it's actually very very similar i do spot just a tiny bit more detail on the uh, on the pc version of the game having said that one of the big big differences is obviously once you put on the headset itself and actually obviously i can't show it here but the screen door effect on the psvr versus uh on the oculus rift s which is what i'm playing on here it's a big difference and actually I would say for this kind of game it's one of those times it really does make a very very significant difference because in an example like this for example getting right up close with that little alien monster thing it's just that tiny bit more immersive and convincing when you're using the Oculus Rift S. So I mean ultimately if you have access to both versions I would definitely say get the PC VR version there's actually we're going to talk about one other big benefit that PC VR users have in a second but again just to stress this is absolutely one of the best VR games of the year it's an incredible virtual safari experience it's got some kind of puzzle mechanics to it although it's you know I guess you'd consider it more of a walking simulator than you would actually a, a full game but if that sounds at all interesting to you, I would not let that stop you. I think this game's absolutely incredible. So yeah, I'm mainly going to get out of your way, but just as you can see here, clearly in the PC VR version, we're using Smooth Locomotion, which is exclusive to this version of the game. It's teleport only on the PS4, which, I mean, I don't mind using teleport whatsoever, but it's a bit weird that you can have it in the PC version of the game and not on the PS4 version, especially seeing as I'm using the DualShock 4 here. But as you can see, the game's visual style kind of benefits on PS4. The, we're getting up to these uh, four-legged guys here who are they're a real treat to play around with. And um, it's just the same, essentially. It's it's a little blurrier on PS4, yeah. It looks a little more washed out, I guess you would say. But really, there's no huge differences. So what we're going to do is just kind of play through some of the section of the game. I'll leave you to it. And I'll catch up with you at the end.
So we're getting on to the second level now, which introduces some new beasts. Um, it's set entirely under underground, so I thought it'd be interesting just to show up just a bit of this level. You can start to see some of the kind of lighting differences um, in the two versions of the game here. Again, not a heck of a lot, and it's it's more to do with the more washed out palette on, on PSVR. But going through the caves in a second, you'll see some different kind of lighting effects, uh, a few more particles and whatnot in the PC version. But overall, as I've said, just a lovely, lovely experience, uh, however you're going to play it. So that was a quick look at the two different versions of Paper Beasts. Remember that the PC VR version is out today and the PSVR version has been available for a little while. Please go and check it out and support it if you haven't already. I think it's a really, really fantastic creation. And if you like the content, please, of course, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and hit that notifications button and head over to uploadvr.com.